Welcome to Toyota Time with Timmy the Toolman. Today I'm going to show you how turning off overdrive for your transmission can actually drop your transmission temperature significantly. Now somebody posed a question recently on the Toyota forum and I had said that turning overdrive off could even help when going slower speeds up mountain roads but I was mistaken. I was talking out of my ass on that one because I just tested it on a mountain road where I was going at slower speeds, uh, nowhere near the top gear, the overdrive gear, and the tr transmission temperatures did not drop when I turned off overdrive. Where turning off overdrive is gonna help you is you're in between third gear and overdrive. Overdrive is your fourth gear. This is a four-speed transmission uh, with reverse. So when you're in between that third gear and fourth gear, and you're, it's downshifting and upshifting because it's right in between when you push the gas pedal because you're trying to get, go a little faster up a grave, it, it upshifts when it gets to a certain speed and then you uh, slow down and it downshifts. And so going back and forth with the torque converter unlocked increases the transmission temperature by as much as 20 degrees. When you know you're gonna be climbing a grade and uh, you're gonna be in that speed where it's not necessarily fast enough to maintain the overdrive gear and the demand on the on the transmission it's going to kick down to the low gear back over and over again it's better to just turn the overdrive off and lock it in that third gear so it doesn't keep on downshifting and upshifting over and over again so i'm going to test this out now on highway 17 between los gatos and summit road it will be a great area to test this theory out well not a theory i'm just going to basically show you that it does work by using my Torque Pro app, which is monitoring my transmission temperatures on my Android phone. So I'm getting on 17 right now. I'm using the Torque Pro app on my Android phone, and uh, which is getting information from a Bluetooth uh, OBD2 reader that's connected right here. See the little blinky lights? I got this set up where I can turn it on and off because it does, do, does draw power if you don't uh, turn it off. And so that's this is sending information to my Torque Pro app. So I'm currently, this is the transmission temperature on the right hand side. So it's downshifting again. I'm giving it a little more throttle response. The RPMs are up. Transmission temperature is climbing. Watch it climb. I'm going to kind of hold it here to demonstrate. Watch it climb, watch it climb. So it's, it's sticking in that third gear. It's downshifted for, from the effort, 180. Now I'm gonna switch over, drive off. Watch the temperatures drop. Look how much it dropped when I turned the overdrive off. It went from 180 down to 160. Now I'm gonna turn the overdrive back on. It's down to 160, overdrive is back on. Watch the temperatures climb. See how now the temperatures are going up to like 180 again? It's climbing, 183. I'm gonna turn overdrive off again. Overdrive is off now. See how immediately the temperatures start to drop? It got up to 186. Now it's down to 165. And again, I'm at that sweet spot between the gears. I'm at 50 miles an hour. The RPMs are up because it's sticking in that third gear. All right, I um, ran out of hill. I can't show you anymore unless I go back down the mountain, come back up, and I don't think I really want to do that. But I think I've effectively showed you how turning off overdrive will lower your transmission temperatures when you're right in between third gear and overdrive. When you're climbing a hill and you're at that speed where a little more throttle response is gonna cause it to kick down into third, that's when your transmission temperatures are gonna to start to increase on you. And if you're in that situation, turning overdrive off will lock it in third gear. It won't be switching between the overdrive gear and back down the third, back and forth. And I can't really explain the science about it, but somebody on the Toyota forum had said that 
when you turn overdrive off it locks up the torque converter and when the torque converter is locked up it creates less heat in the transmission and it works because I've seen it firsthand and I've showed you firsthand on my using my torque pro app with my Android phone and using a, a Bluetooth OBD2 reader sending the information to the torque pro app that it actually works so what I do is just to not even think about it when I know I'm gonna be climbing a grade I just turn overdrive off even though I might not it might not be helping me I might end up getting to that sweet spot where I'm in between gears and I don't even have to think about it I just turn the overdrive off because I know I don't really need it when I'm climbing a grade if you're going faster than 65 miles an hour and it's going to be shifting into overdrive then keep your overdrive on I wouldn't suggest turning it off but anytime you're climbing a grade and you're at that like 50 to 60 mile per hour where it's going to be shifting back and forth from third gear to fourth gear back and forth turn your overdrive off and you're going to see your transmission temperatures drop I guarantee it so another thing to consider to drop your transmission temperatures even more is by adding an external transmission cooler and run it in series with the transmission cooler that's in the radiator the stock OEM cooler when I added my transmission cooler I saw a 20 degree drop I had a test hill where I drove it with the OEM setup it's a seven mile climb about a 2000 elevation change and I would get to about 220 going up that climb when I added the transmission cooler I only hit about 200 so it was about a 20 degree drop and that's consistent with what other people have seen with adding an external cooler you'll see about a 20 degree drop and it's important because if you can keep your transmission temperatures lower it will increase the life of your fluid and in turn increase the life of your transmission because heat can kill your transmission so I hope you learned something today turning over drive off when you're in between gears can definitely affect your transmission temperatures they could drop them by around 20 degrees you, you saw firsthand when I was climbing the highway 17 that when I turned over drive off the temperatures immediately started to drop so something to consider when you're driving mountain roads and you're at that sweet spot in between third and fourth gear or you're driving a mountain pass on the freeway and you're not going at a speed where it's going to maintain overdrive it's going to be kicking down between third gear and then going back up the fourth gear over you know which is your overdrive gear so thank you for watching Toyota time with Timothy Toolman I'll be back with more videos if you have any questions just uh, ask in the comments and I'll get back to you bye bye